All right, uh, the first review I did on the seat is probably should not be valid because my seat was angled so terribly and I didn't realize it until I went and got these tubeless Continental 5000s on. So we're back to tubeless, got the Garmin. Tuesday, yesterday was a little insane, like pretty busy. Alice didn't feel good at the point that she just had like one of those life crushing migraines. Yesterday was a little unproductive aside from shipping, but I mean, drawing, I drew for like, I drew this King Kong for at least, I don't know, four hours, four and a half, I don't know. It's the final drawing. I don't know how long I spent on the whole drawing. But anyway, 15 mile bike ride this morning. We did go to the gym yesterday, trained our legs. So let's, uh, let's see how our legs are doing right now. Tuesday, October something or another. Well, let's go. Okay, good morning. It's Wednesday. Uh... Well, the dog's barking at me. Alex is like a little sick, I guess. You're not gonna be able to hear me because of the wind. This is ridiculous. You can't really say you're sick because then people just go crazy. So yesterday she had a really bad headache and then she's just like really tired. So she's chilling. Yesterday I went on a bike ride. I trained my upper body. So hopefully my legs actually work today. I gotta fix fix them today. And yesterday is all about organizing. I organized the entire drop yesterday. Got a bunch of stuff cleaned up that has been very messy for months in the back end pause. Yeah, so just a lot of organization of getting shit going. Oh, we don't know where we're even going yet. I found a route, son. All right, we're uh, 15 miles in, which is actually, God, you can't even see, which is actually the Paris. We're on the strip. I've never biked down this far, farther than last time. Good morning. It is actually Thursday. I have done this exact update every day this week except Monday, uh, which I don't know what's gonna go in the vlog, but it's it's Thursday. I'm going on another bike ride. Uh, Alex is not sick. She just had really, really terrible migraines, so she's feeling better. I'm gonna go to Boulder City, because I have been, and it was suggested many times, and I just keep not going there, because I don't know what I'm doing. This whole week has been you know, pretty like all over the place, a lot of organizing, a lot of fixing things. And really what I've come down to is it's about fixing your focus. And technically, I'm not telling you to fix your focus, well I am, but only because I've, I've been telling myself I gotta fix my focus. I feel like the last few weeks have been a little up and down and a little crazy and there's a lot of shit going on and it's easy to get aggravated. So I've just really been trying to fix my focus on things. I feel a lot better mentally and physically. I think it's important. And I think that because it's a vlog and you, and you watch me go through different times in my life and different emotions, I think it's important to show how I try to look at myself objectively and see what I'm doing and how it's making me feel. And especially with social media and the internet and using it. And I'm definitely not perfect. I still talk mad shit, but it's about what you take away from it, you know, and where you spend your energy, what messes you have to clean up of your own before you really even need to worry about what other people are doing. And I have plenty of my own to worry about. And we'll talk about it today, right now, Boulder City bike ride. <laughs> We have not made it to Boulder City, but we have made it pretty far away. I don't know where we are exactly. So we're out in the middle of nowhere, basically. And we're also in the middle of the road. But we have not made it to Boulder City. I just looked at the map. Uh, we're still like fucking 13 miles from Boulder City because it looped us around a different way, which has been fun. Uh, I don't know if I want to do 45 miles today, which is what this trip will end up being. I knew that once I left. This is not a surprise. So I'm going to go for a little longer and then probably just turn around. I love the freedom. Today I felt like I'm on the Truman Show because I passed a sign that said Cadence, something like, and then something positive. I can't remember what it said. A song came on that said, this is how your day started. It was all melancholy and it was beautiful and windy and the, the sun was coming up. But then you also smelled horse shit from the left. I think it's just like a perfect metaphor for life. We definitely have to walk our bike over to this trail. I don't think we have to go up that hill. I think we want to go around this way. We're 15 miles up this hill, which, you know, I said, oh, I don't have to go up that hill, but I definitely went up that fucking hill. Pretty much crushed me, dog. I don't know. The elevation's gotta be pretty high on this one. So, we're gonna turn this fucking thing around. Get out of here. It's crazy ride but this bike trail obviously goes for a while and goes places not really sure where it was a fun it's been a fun ride nonetheless 
humbling, crushing, you know. Not all miles are created equally, that's for sure. All right, back home. Come on, Omar, let's go. We are post 30 mile bike ride, giving the dogs bath. Omar's leg, update. He doesn't give a fuck. He's through all his pills, just doesn't care. We try and keep him still as possible still. He's not limping. We don't know. Where's Abner? Abner is not hiding because he knows what's going on. Abner, going down, son. good boy, come here. Uh, uh, Alex is feeling better. I thought you had Corona. Everybody had a Corona scare this week. You already earned Corona. Good boy. Look at that tail. All right, make room for baloney. Good boys. Stay there. <laughs> don't spread your legs out crazy. Look at that tail, he's still happy about life. Remember we got this nice gloves. Remember the gloves? Yes, remember. Oh boy, yeah. All right, so two consecutive 30 mile bike rides. Today, so lost, as we know. Now time, lots of things happening. We have, we have the drop, which is gonna go public. And Sunday at noon, the hot sauce boy 3M joint. These joints, these jammies. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So all week we've been shipping for friends and family as well as the mood mats for friends and family. Getting prepared for a mystery painting sale. Friends and family knows about this. I haven't discussed it with the public, but we're gonna talk about it today. Talk about many things. One of those things being this motherfucking lavash bread is my favorite thing right now ever. I love this shit. Bro, one big ass piece is 120 calories. It's amazing. So good. So Good, you make burritos with this. I also been making burritos with these. They're fucking fire as fuck. You gotta make sure you get the new and improved kind. 45 calories, dog. 45. 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber. You know fibrous, dog. The new and improved one's the only one. I don't even want to tell y'all, because when they get sold out, I'll be pissed. Sprout game is on point. So the other sprouts, we ate most of it. Well, we ate some of them, we threw some out. These sprouts, ooh, these even sprouted more since this morning. These, I think, are ready for the fridge. I only put two tablespoons in this time just to see how many it would yield, but I'm real excited for these. I can't remember which kind this is though. And these under here are alfalfas. Damn, these sprouted a lot this morning too. In hindsight, these jars are too small. Um, I ordered some bigger jars because these jars are way too small for the amount of sprouts I'm trying to eat. The real goal for me here is to have sprouts in the fridge at all times. So I don't buy, I always buy spinach and all these greens and stuff, microgreens at the store. I, I, I can stop buying them because I'll have them. Anyway. I'm about to make myself a goddamn burrito. I'm gonna eat it and then uh, get to work and try to explain what the fuck's going on in life right now. What's new this week in the obsessive life of myself? Burrito. Second wrapped meal of the day. This is a turkey wrap with my sprouts on it, dog. Turkey, guacamole, cheese, sprouts, pickles. Getting some work done. Third mic is on the way, which kind of this podcast setup where we had Hetty. If you watch the podcast, you know we only had two mics, which was fucking ridiculous, but I didn't know because Ern didn't tell me what was happening. Because Ern is insane. But it inspired me where I could like kind of use this room differently and I could have the third mic and it would actually be helpful to me. It kind of goes all and along with how I'm feeling about what I'm doing, which I don't know why I'm being so mysterious, but I'm gonna eat my sandwich and then we're gonna talk about my focus, my life, my life right now, what we're focused on. So I think that this is gonna work. I'm trying to uh, film this with the mic and on the streaming camera just so I can like use it. It's okay, whatever. Uh, so things, uh, like I was talking about this morning, basically, uh, what I'm doing, what's going on, I ate my sandwich. Everything's all great. I started off the day with about fixing your focus and, you know, like what I'm focused on right now because, you know, life is ever changing. But the main thing I'm focused on right now <laughs> is me. You know, I mean, technically it is it is me and uh, I don't mean that to try to sound selfish. I just kind of like feel like now is the time to worry about yourself you know it's not in a not in a in a mind your business way not in a, a get away from me type way you know it's like i've just been trying to really focus on my own shit and my own shortcomings and riding my bike like a fuckload you know like 
doing like 100 plus miles a week, uh, which for me, going last year to no riding is a lot. So I, of course, you know, I want a different bike now because I'm like super into this. So I'm like, oh man, looking into these like really expensive road bikes because I want a road bike because I'm faster and go up hills and just have experiences. And not that I don't enjoy and love the bike that I have. I do. But the more you get into a hobby, the more infectious it gets. Like I just keep buying shit. I just bought a taillight, a taillight for the bike that now tells me where cars are coming up behind. It's going to be hypocritical. This entire video is going to make, it's not hypocritical because it's me working out what's going on in life and what my goals are and what I want, you know, and like what I enjoy doing. And I enjoy obviously like making art. I enjoy riding my bike. I really do enjoy like the fitness aspect of life. For those of you that don't know, I've been going to the gym and counting my calories for like the last, I don't know now with the calorie thing, it's been a couple of months now probably, but anyway, um, which I've been doing on two different apps, Carbon and LifeSum, which I think Carbon is a way better app, which I'm going to, neither one is paying me, but I'm probably going to review the two, but I like Carbon. Anyway, um, yeah, I've really been enjoying that. Like I've been enjoying doing this and having the time or making the time to, uh, you know, like cook and go to the gym and ride a bike and do all these things. So it's been great and, it's, and it feels good to like get healthy. Like it really does. It's, my mood is different. Everything about everything is different and it's all kind of bringing me into this place. You know I mean? I guess I was, I wanted, you know, in Japan, things were getting, in my mind, I was like, I need to simplify, you know, and um, the more time I spent there, the more I wanted to simplify, but then life at home gets so crazy, and some people are sitting there like, Teddy, you buy shit more than anybody I know, and I know I do, so I'm trying to curb this, I still want shit, because my interests grow, so my solution to this, basically, long story short, is to sell all the shit that I'm not using, you know, I mean, I've really been thinking about selling my car, because I don't drive it enough to justify it, we don't need two cars right now now so is possibly on the horizon just because anyone who's watched this for long enough knows that i don't care about cars and the same thing goes with a lot of other stuff you know it's like i really enjoy being able to get the media things that i need to make stuff and you know i had to buy another mic and you know, things like that but a lot of stuff i try like this whole closet is full of things that i've tried out once or twice and never did anything with and you know i still have plenty of clothes that i never wear and just a lot of a lot of shit you know when we moved we were like oh my god we have so much shit we ended up throwing away shit we have shit in storage still like i have too much stuff and you know and i really like vegas and I'm not saying that we're leaving vegas who knows how long we stay in vegas either you know with the world changing so much all these things and it's crazy all the time like i don't know like i don't have any fucking clue but i do know that i feel better minimizing what i have especially when i'm not using it i don't want to feel guilty for wanting to check things out and see if they serve me in a way and see if they bring a quality to my life but i don't want to like just hold on to them and i just again i have boxes of stuff that like, i could just sell and get rid of thought so my challenge to myself is to do this and to sell enough stuff so that i can just go buy another bike you know like take care of some shit with money that's just sitting around the house because it's just shit that I bought. That I'm not. Anyway, that's kind of like where I'm at in my head this week is like organizing. I mean, I, the podcast is fixed, you know, like, you know, dirty, dirty. I've taken over for the most part. Uh, after this week, I'll be doing all of that shit because it's just, Ernest is busy. You know? Ernest is doing his own thing, which we were totally cool with just so everyone knows but i am now taking control or have been taking control of all the customer service all the shipping all of everything which i've actually enjoyed as well i feel like you know it probably isn't the healthiest thing to keep doing it for years so now that Ern is not doing it and it's in my full control it's almost a little more comfortable you know it kind of releases the anxiety and you don't get to blame other people and you just kind of have to keep on top of it you don't get to undermine how busy a certain job is like you realize how much certain things need how much attention things need and it's you know for me personally and as much as I care about the shit that I'm doing um, I think it serves me to just be like 100% hands on with what I'm doing and minimize the things around me so that there's not a bunch of bullshit that I don't need to be doing because it doesn't really need to happen. I feel like maybe I got lost in back in the day, lost in the trap of going around the world and doing all these things, which was great and it's awesome. I love it, but you lose sight of other things like like your health and shit like that. So you know, all these trips to Japan and all this shit have definitely caught up with me. Didn't want to admit to myself ever. Like, like I'm definitely like put on weight. This feels good to just kind of take control, know that you're dropping weight, know that you're getting healthier and just like feeling better. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then like knowing how to take control where it's not suffering. Like I am not suffering. I'm having a great time getting in shape. I don't know what we're, I hate all these words and phrases 
because it just sounds like some like fitness magazine. You know what I mean? But like I'm just take just taking care of business, dog. You know what I mean? It's moving heavy things and just moving your body and getting out there and seeing the world and exploring is a lot of fucking fun. But you forget about we forget about being all up in your shit and just shoes, 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 fucking cars, shoes. My God, fake shoes, but you know all this shit. Eh, you know, presidents. Eh, just gotta live your fucking life, dog. The realm of all of this. And friends and family knows. I said a little earlier about mystery painting projects. So one of the things that I'm doing, you know, obviously I'm always making products. I'm always like putting stuff out, which support from you guys is amazing. It's incredible. It allows me to do all of this shit. I have to have you to think like I can take control of my health and I can also be creative. Like I can get creative, especially with mystery painting idea, which I have going on, which it's $150 for a mystery painting. So there's a limited amount of slots because I can't fucking paint, you know, I can't paint a thousand paintings, even though that would be incredible but anyway can't do it it's just not gonna happen the goal is to get them all done by the holidays because this is around the time when people are usually asking me to commission paintings but i don't want to do commissions because commission has barriers and it's like kind of i don't know it's static in a way this is why the price is cheap 150 dollars for original is pretty cheap definitely charge more for original painting these aren't going to be any specific size they're definitely not on like king kong level of detail embellishment but i'm excited to have a set number of paintings to do with really no goal in mind and just a sort of paint. I think that that would be super cool. And, you know, pre-selling them kind of takes out some of the thought process of like, oh my God, I have to make this a painting or a design that like a lot of people are going to like. I just kind of have to paint. And the people who are buying these already will buy them because sun- Sunday, Sunday, it, there's a drop Sunday at 10. Everything drops Sunday at 10. Everything you've, everything is Sunday at 10. So the people who buy them are having faith. Like they like my work enough to think like he's going to make something that I like. I'm going to. Come on. We all know I'm going to bring the heat. Like, let's just be honest. It's cool to me because it kind of relaxes things around me. I can take a few tattoos, obviously work on a lookbook and do all these things that I do every month, but also can paint, create, and it kind of fund however long it takes, a month or two, ease things out so that I can continue to focus on the things that I want to focus on and not be focused on bullshit. Finding ways to make the shit work for you. Like, I want to paint, people want paintings. Let's find a common ground and make this work for everybody. So I think this is a great deal and a great idea even though I came up with it and the reception has been good and I'm ex- I'm just really kind of excited. And then obviously the shirts, the mood mats, all of that, the whole drop, everything. But, uh, and that was not a big long advertisement. I really do feel like this is just like where I am in my life. And like a lot of the content of this channel may even change because like I really am just riding my fucking bike a lot and going to the gym and making food that, you know, normally I could literally make a fucking video right now that says I lost 30 pounds eating tacos because I eat fucking tacos almost every day, son. You know what I mean? I eat pop tarts this morning before I go on my bike ride and I'm steadily every fucking week dropping weight steadily. Like it's, it's working. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited like, again for the 50th time. I'm just excited. Things are changing changing things are crazy i'm stressed out about some other things but this is i think me trying to other things is basically jay coming home from prison but this is me trying to like simplify everything declutter and just get every i guess all my ducks in a row before and i don't want a bunch of crap you know what i'm saying like when we move we got so much i'm done i'm done with the crap i don't want crap all right that's where we're at i think i'm gonna get out of here Ern and hetty i haven't seen him. i didn't see him i didn't see him i know Ern got a covid test but you have to wait for the podcast to hear about that. He's a survivor now, so you're going to have to wait. In his mind, he's a survivor. He's not. He didn't get COVID. But, all right, that's it. I'm out of here. Peace.